to me, inclusion means making sure that everyone can achieve to the best of their ability. It's just making sure that you give everybody what they need to succeed. What we're going to do today is we're going to carry on from your thinking and learning skills that you've been doing with Mrs Cato. Like many teaching assistants, Carol Cato has learned her role through practice. But a few years ago, she realised this wasn't enough. She wanted to learn about the theories behind her methods. I found a course up at Hertfordshire University, which was the specialist teaching assistant. And I just thought it was a way of formalising what I was learning on the job. She followed this with a two-year foundation degree. Now, Carol is bringing the theories on working with children who have special educational needs to bear in the classroom. How are you guys getting on? <laughs> Doing the course means that I've got the theories of how children learn, how they develop, um, different needs they might have. We've done different modules on inclusion, on behaviour management, on autism. So it's given a much deeper, much more in-depth understanding of the problems and the strategies I can use to help. Which one of these do you think is the most important in a good discussion? I think a lot of teaching assistants do find that they've got a different role when they go back. They do become a resource and interestingly we do some work on target setting for IEPs and I have to say to them now be careful when you go back into school with this information because You've had training on how to write good targets that maybe nobody else in that school has had. So now you can look at them with a slightly different eye. Now you might think, hmm, yes, maybe that target could be a bit smarter, but I, I know how I can do that. Now, going back to your wall today, which is... Working closely with Year 5 teacher Nicola Gooden, Carol has brought in a lesson which she found during her research on thinking and learning skills. Called Diamond Ranking, she asked the children to think about what makes a good discussion. They have nine different statements and they have to rank them in order of importance and then they have to justify why one's more important than another. Right, now the great thing about these is there's no wrong answers. So it's what you think. I think it's really useful for all children, but especially for children that have learning difficulties, to explicitly teach how to use these skills. Um, they can't use them across the curriculum until they actually know what the skill entails and they've practiced doing it. Right, well, that's three different ideas. Gabriel, why do you think yours is the most important? What makes you think that? Um, because it's not fair to come to school and have a bad time. Before I did my course, I would probably have approached it in a slightly more haphazard way. I wouldn't have realised the, the steps that lead to the scaffolding. For children with learning difficulties, it's really, really important to actually scaffold the task and sort of lead them through it. It's sort of, well, why is one more important than the next? And then you bring in the next one and just break it down into smaller chunks for them. Why do you think no, that, that one's more important? Nobody will be left out. Nobody will be left out. Good. Carol's always been very interested in inclusion and then it, it's the things that she's learning at university, she's able to come in and actually try it out on the children and get the data that she requires. And I also get upskilled in the process without having to go back to uni again. So the most important thing is the justification. It's, it doesn't matter what they come up with, why you think that. Absolutely, they just need to... Carol has become a resource on dyslexia, autism and specific learning difficulties for other teachers in the school. As a TA, I had the practical, I didn't have the theory. Having done the course, it's just brought the two together and really sort of cemented it as to this is what I'm doing and this is why I'm doing it, which is basically what we've just asked the children to do. I think this because. So it works for us as well. Thank you.